In this video, I'm going to introduce conditional probability formally. In the previous video, I've already shown an example of how it works in practice, but I thought I'd make sure that we know exactly what the notation looks like, looks like in this video. So conditional probability refers to there being a condition on the probability that we're trying to find, which means that usually we already know a bit of information. So, for example, if this is my Venn diagram, then the conditional probability could be written as probability of A given B. And what this means is that, that we want to find the probability of the event A happening given that B has already happened. So we've got this extra bit of information, this con extra condition um, on A. So the type of problem that you could be looking at, for example, would be that a student that is having to study uh, three exams in a row um, is likely to do better on their second exam if their first exam has gone well, has, done, has gone well. Um, I mean, that's not something that I've, um, I've researched in any great detail, but the concept is that, you know, if, if, if a student has, um, has done one exam and is feeling good about themselves, then they're more likely to do well in the second exam uh, rather than having that kind of negative attitude about pot potentially failing as they go into the exam. So that is how probabilities can be affected uh, by previous things happening. So if I'm working this out, what it means is that if I know that B has already happened, I am just looking at B, effectively. Okay. So the probability of B. Now the probability of A happening is this bit here, if I'm just looking at the circle of B. And so that is the intersection of A and B. So if I'm just looking at that bit out of the whole, it's equal to the probability of the intersection out of the whole. So probability of B. And this is the formula that we need. Okay? Now thankfully this formula is in the formula booklet for us. Okay? So it is there. Um, make sure you know where it is. But likewise, we could also write it as the probability of B given A and work it around the other way instead. So given A, what's the probability of B? Well, it's this bit out of the whole probability of A. So make sure you know that you can reverse things around and reorder the letters um, and find other probabilities that way. Okay, and that's how you can do it.